hey people welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is fatima i do modest fashion lifestyle um and chit chat videos like this one i'm about to do so if this sounds like something you're interested in please hit the subscribe button join the family um it would be so good to have you here i know i've been mia for a while now and honestly guys life happened just life happened it wasn't my wish to not be consistent because i only just started but you know it is what it is i intend to do a life update to share with you guys why i haven't really been consistent um trust me it's not um it's not something really important it's just that life happened like i said so um watch out for the video i'll be sharing with you why i haven't really posted anything for the past few six seven months i do not want to waste any time i just want to get straight to this video in today's video i'll be talking about getting licensed as a medical laboratory scientist or a medical technologist in the united states oftentimes i get a lot of questions about getting licensed practicing as a medical laboratory scientist or a medical technologist in the united states and um, i always kind of do justice to these questions and it dawned on me that this could actually be a very good youtube video topic or a very good video for youtube um so i'm here filming it for you guys so yes i'll be sharing with you how to get licensed and how to get your certification to work in the united states as a medical laboratory scientist or a medical technologist if you're interested in this keep on watching <music> in the united states as a medical laboratory scientist or a medical technologist you need what is known as the ascp certification so what is ascp ascp is an acronym that stands for american society of clinical pathology this ascp is an organization that does quite a number of things but part of their function or their role is to license or certify professionals laboratory professionals in the united states so um, the section of American Society of Clinical Pathology that does this is referred to as ASCP book. So that's ASCP, then BOC. So BOC stands for Board of Certification. What we are interested in today is ASCP book, how to get certified, how to sit for the exam, how to apply for the exam, and all that good stuff. First of all, you need to know that the ASCP certification is divided into two. So we have the ASCP, and we have the ASCPI. Now, the ASCPI is majorly for international applicants. So, professionals that are schooled outside the United States will sit the ASCPI or will get the license with the I and not just the ASCP. So, the ASCP is just for people that are schooled in the United States. If you're schooled outside of the United States, your certification will carry I, and that I simply means international. If you are an international applicant and you want to sit for this exam or get licensed as a medical laboratory scientist in the United States, you're looking at the ASCPI. So, you're going through the international route, right? Is that okay? Good. So, the next step you want to look at is Am I eligible to sit for this exam? That's the next step you need to look at. Luckily, for the ASCP examination for medical technologies, there are about five routes. So we have route one, route two, route three, route four, route five. These routes are just explanation of your eligibility, if that makes sense. For example, if you're going through the route one, the requirements for route one includes one, you need to have a degree from an approved institution. So you need to have a degree in medical laboratory science from an approved institution. That's one. And note that I said, and you also need to have training as a medical laboratory scientist in a laboratory setting in an approved laboratory setting note that i am saying approved because you cannot just tender any lab and say we'll have experience in this laboratory and i can apply through route one it has to be approved institution by your government or approved laboratory by your government so you need to have a training in an approved laboratory in addition to your medical laboratory science degree and remember that your foreign education will also be evaluated you need to evaluate your foreign education using WES or um 
other evaluation body i think west is the popular one so you can use west to evaluate your credentials so the route one all you need is your degree um your degree certificate your training and your credential ev evaluation your degree evaluation so for route two you need to have your degree degree in medical laboratory science from an approved institution just like route one in addition to this you need to have three years clinical experience in the laboratory setting so the difference between route one and two is route one is talking about your training so not necessarily work experience but route two is talking about work experience so for instance if you if you're in a country where you don't really do internship or all that stuff or maybe for some reason you don't have internship or training as long as you have three years clinical work experience in an approved laboratory settings then you can still apply via this route but i know typically for nigerian students you have this one year compulsory internship so route one is majorly what nigerian students will be looking out for or nigerian trained laboratory professionals because they already have the internship and they have their degree the internship will serve as the training note that your training or work experience has to be in all the areas of the laboratory so we're talking hematology we're talking microbiology we're talking blood bank we're talking um chemical pathology except um histology for some reason histology is not included in your ASCP MLS certification so you're good to go if you don't have histology experience or histology training that's fine but you need experience and training in other fields we have route three route four and route five but i don't really want to start listing out the requirements for those routes you can check it up at www.ascp.org um, if that is wrong i will make sure to put the website somewhere here so you can check it out yourself but majorly concentrating on route one and route two because i feel like this is where majority will find themselves so you either have a degree and you have a training or you have a degree and you have a work experience that's why i'm focusing on route one and route two but you can still look up route three route four route five in case you do not meet the requirement for route one route two so once you've confirmed your eligibility now you know you have what it takes to apply for the examination you really you still cannot decide that on your own you need to apply online for the examination so you go to the website like i said www.ascp.org you navigate to the website and let me just quickly show you what it looks like and how to apply online for the examination so guys this is what it looks like on the website so this is what you see when you type in um www.ascp.org this is what you see so you scroll down once you get to the bottom you can see board of certification right here tap on that and you see get credentialed stay credentialed verify credentials tap on get credentialed and it takes you here so you can see this is the board of certification like we talked about so just scroll down again um this is where you just see your um eligibility routes and all that so tap on international certifications you can see we have technician certifications we have technologies and sciences certifications so this is where you find mls and we have specialist certifications as well so now let's just tap on mls right here Oh, this is just showing you the different routes like we talked about route one route two route three route four you know i told you we have five routes so this is where you see all the requirements for each route if you're interested in that just tap route one and you will be able to see the requirements like we talked about so yes this is where you see all the routes everything any other thing you need to know just go down now once you get to this part you can see this apply now you tap on apply now and it takes you right here so if you don't have any accounts with 
um, if you don't have an account with ASCP, you have to create a new account. So tap on this create new account and it will just guide you through. But because I have mine, I'll just log in straight up and it takes me here. So this is where you come to once you create your account. It says enter your email address and um, once you tap on that you see this on your screen now a verification email will be sent to you you're supposed to tap on the link to verify your email address once you do that you get to this stage so once you tap on the link it brings you here to continue your application so here you pick your category which is mls so let's just quickly look for that yep so international medical laboratory sciences that's the category so you go to your route route one country of education scroll down search for wherever you schooled mine is united kingdom so let's look for that good so once you feel this you move down and you tap on next move, move, move. okay so tap on next it's happening next good so this is the next thing you see um this is just saying um you agree to the um statement legal statement and you authorize ASCP to publish your name as a successful certificate and you know yeah so once you tap on next it's take you to the payment area so you make your payment and yep you're done once you've applied online it is also important to mention that you have to pay for this examination it's about 200 dollars but for some countries we have um discounted pricing of 95 dollars i think nigeria is part of these countries so instead of 200 dollars you have a discounted pricing of 95 dollars so please check that out to know exactly how much you're paying remember that you also have to evaluate your credentials that will also come with a fee i cannot remember how much west charges for evaluation but just bear that in mind that you also have to pay for the evaluation i think it should be around 200 dollars as well or maybe less so please just check that out look up west and check how much they charge for evaluation also for the ASCP certification you can be certified as a medical laboratory technologist general so we're talking about um certification in everything in blood banking in hematology in chem you're just a medical laboratory scientist or you can have a specialist certification where you're certified as a microbiologist. So it's called International Technologist in Microbiology, International Technologist in Blood Banking, International Technologist in Cytotechnologist. And you know, we have specialist certifications like that. But you cannot apply for this specialist certification until you have the medical laboratory scientist or medical technologist certification so you need the general certification before you can start applying for these specialist certifications so once you've applied online you've made your payments and done all that good stuff you need to send your documents to ASCP I think before you had to send it via post but now because of COVID you can now send it via email so the email address is on the website as well where you are to send the required documents that's after applying online and what are these documents very very simple you're sending your um, work experience documentation form, your training documentation form, um, foreign, um, your evaluation of your degree, your degree certificate and your transcript. For the experience documentation form, you can find that online on the website. This is just a form that you give to your employer to fill, to sign for you. And in, in addition to this, the employer will also write a letter saying, oh, hi, so, 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 filled this form. It's just to, to um, authenticate the form. That's why it's called letter of authenticity. So it's from your employer to say, oh, I indeed filled this form and this person meets the requirements and all that. This um, sample for the letter of authenticity, 
as well as the documentation forms can be found on the website like i said you fill the training documentation form from where you did your training probably your hod or someone um in that position to fill the form for you so the sample forms can be found on the website again and you include other documents and you send this over to ASCP. i think i'm sweating already <laughs> so now once you send these documents to ASCP, they process it and confirm if you're eligible to sit for the exam once they confirm you're eligible to sit for the exam they send you an admissibility letter this letter is just to say that you're admissible to sit for the exam you're eligible to sit for the exam and um, you can now book your exam online with any pearson center yay when you get to this stage all you need to do now is book your exam and prepare for your exam okay once you get this letter you start looking out to book your exam online with any pearson center the good thing about the good thing about ASCP, unlike other certification exam or other international certification, you can write it almost all over the world. I know you can write it in Nigeria, you can write it in Ghana, you can write it in any Pearson Center. You can write it anywhere as long as they have a Pearson Center. Next step is go to the Pearson website. I, I should leave the link somewhere or the website somewhere so on the person website is where you book your exam you pick a location close to you or any location you're comfortable with and you book your exam you go for the exam right now the exam is cat meaning computer adaptive testing so you're going to be answering all your questions on the computer and it is multiple choice so you are expected to pick one out of the options you're given um the exam lasts for about two hours 30 minutes and it's 100 questions that's for the mls general the uh, medical laboratory sciences general or mt general or whatever you want to call it but i'm talking about the general certification so this has 100 questions and lasts for two hours 30 minutes so once you're able to go through this process sending your documents make your payments get your admissibility letter um, book for your exam online eventually get to the center sit for your exam and pass you will get your certification as a medical laboratory scientist or a medical technologist right here even without stepping into the united states and this certification will say um, American Society of Clinical Pathology Medical Technologies. Remember, it will carry the I, meaning international, because you didn't school in the United States. Also, I forgot to mention that once you finish your exam, immediately you get a pass or fail. Then later you get a breakdown of your score. But once you finish the exam, if you pass, you see a pass on your screen. If you fail, which inshallah we won't fail, you see a fail on your screen. Then later you get a transcript to show the breakdown of your score. Eventually get your certification. They will send down your certification um, as a medical laboratory technologist, which is enough to apply for jobs in the United States paraventure. Maybe, you know, if you find yourself in America and you're able to, if you're able to work in the US, you can actually use this certification to work as a medical laboratory technologist. Aside that, the ASCP is internationally recognized. So if you have this, it shows that you're intentional about your profession. And, you know, it's just really good to show that you are internationally certified and you can, prove that you know what you're doing this video is probably getting too long for my liking but it's just that there's a lot of information that i'm trying to squeeze in this video please be sure to check out the website with this short video i hope i've been able to give you like a summary so by the time you get to the website things start making sense as you go through it please don't totally depend on this video you still have to check the website and read through it to understand the application process the requirements and every other thing you're going to need it is also important to mention that i haven't sat for this exam myself for reason best known to me um yes i am ascp certified as a phlebotomy technician so i am um, i have the ascp certification as a phlebotomist but um i haven't done the ascp 
medical technologist or medical laboratory scientist for reasons best known to me. So if you want to sit for the ASCP or you're thinking about moving to the US and you know working as a medical laboratory technologist or scientist, I hope I've been able to help one way or the other. Um, I wish you all the best in your professional pursuit. I wish you all the best in your career. Thank you so much for sticking around. I am tired. I am sweating already. I would like to end this video now. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sticking around. Please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below any question, any suggestion, any addition, any subtraction you have. Please put it down in the comment section. Be sure to share this video because I'm trying to grow my subscribers. Like that's the only way you can help me. Yeah. So please, please, please like, comment and share. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video where we'll be talking about life updates and everything that has happened so far. So until my next one, 